All right, everyone, today I want to talk about essential food items you need to make sure you have in your pantry. You need to start stacking some of this stuff now because some of the stuff might not be available in the future. Now, I'm not going to go over everything I have in my pantry right now, but I'm going to hit the key items that you really need to make sure you have. Number one is always going to be proteins. Fish proteins such as the salmon and kipper snacks and oysters and things like that that you see here as well as the canned hams um, are an essential source of protein, right? So I have a lot of salmon, a lot of fish. I have a lot of chicken and, you know, the corned beef and processed meats and the, the, the chilies and the soups. All this stuff is protein, right? So you need to make sure you have protein um, besides anything that I might have already up here in my freeze-dried protein stuff, the pork, the chicken and, and stuff like that. But you need to have protein in your in your pantry. Um, instant potatoes, I have some here, but I have a large five gallon bucket in mylar over here. The oats, you need to have oats. Crackers are a good one to add. Pancakes are a great um, add as well. Now all this stuff's gonna give you fiber and carbohydrates. Pasta, if you don't have pasta, make sure you get pasta into your pantry for long term. And then you're gonna want stuff to go with your pasta, like pasta sauces. There's some down there, there's some mushrooms. And then I have pasta sauce over here and I have different kind of pasta. I have all kinds of sauces, prego sauce, um, Alfredo sauce. So you gotta get your sauces to go with your pastas. Vegetables are a great thing to have. Canned vegetables, peas, carrots, um, soups, beans, fruits, all kinds of tropical fruit. Um, you need to have a mix of carbohydrates, fruits, veggies, um, potatoes I got a lot of. Now a luxury good item that I particularly like is coffee, right? So I have 2100 servings of coffee. So you, you know, you need some good stuff sometimes as well. And then I have a lot of tomatoes and your typical soups. But you also need your beans, right? So I got a whole case of baked beans down there. I have a whole bunch of beans in their raw format, stored all the way back, both red and white kidneys. I have pinto beans. Gabonzo beans, mong beans, and popcorn. Popcorn's a good source of fiber as well, and it's kind of fun. Then you want to have your basics like sugar, salt, which I have here, baking soda, which I have, um, cooking flour, breadcrumbs, and things of that nature. A lot more protein down here. We got the, the chicken, the hot and spicy tuna. We got cans of sardines, cans of corned beef, um, cans of spam. You want things like butter and peanut butter as well. You don't need pickles, but they have a long shelf life and they, they're good to eat sometimes, mix it up. So obviously I also have a lot of stuff in freeze dried. Some of the key things here that you want is gonna be butter powder, powdered milk, any kind of vegetables that you can get. Now I have powdered honey as well as peanut butter. The soups and other stuff is all optional, obviously the veggies are good to have as well. I have a lot of rice. All these containers all the way back are all rice with the exception of uh, mashed potato flakes. And I am adding more rice probably tomorrow. So you wanna make sure that you have a well-balanced pantry of food that you eat, as well as things that you can use um, that will, it's gonna give you protein, like this liverwurst here and uh, rockworth and things of that neighbor. So, you know, you see I have corned beef and adobo and I have stuff in all kinds of places. This is all salt, pepper, cinnamon. I have a lot of brown gravy mix. Um, I do have some cake batter and I have some hot chocolate stuff because you want to have some of that in your pantry as well. Here's more protein. This is all turkey based protein. It's good stuff. Um, I have a lot of teas as well to go with my coffee. Um, some more meats. I did a whole video on taste testing some of this meat. Some of it is not very good. Some of it I won't buy again. I will buy these uh, pork leg with mushrooms. They're, they're very good. But make sure you have a lot of proteins, carbohydrates, sugars. These are really expensive, but they're really nice pork cheeks here as well. So when you buy all this stuff, get it organized. Now, I don't have this in chronological order like proteins, carbohydrates, etc because I rotate food in and out all the time. I'm like, you know, three times a week, I'm eating the spicy salmon. But to make sure you get your condiments as well. Make sure you get um, your fruits. I got some maple syrup, which is gonna be really hard to find. 
um, next year because of the heat and the problems with that. You know, I have all kinds of different proteins and snacks, right? Some of these are just fun to eat. I got a big thing of cheese sauce that's gonna be used for pasta. So the main thing I wanna say is make sure that you have a well-balanced pantry and that your pantry is covering a lot of different areas. It's not all expensive food, right? So like this mackerel is actually some of the cheapest canned fish to buy, but it has some of the best uh, nutritional values, right? So you wanna make sure you can get some mackerel. If you can't afford the fancy salmons and stuff, now, since I'm showing you this, all this stuff is all freeze dried. Most of it's vegetables and pasta. Um, I do a lot of freeze drying if you watch a lot of my videos. So I have a lot of food um, that is freeze dried and preserved for long term storage. Now, these noodles up here that you see might not be the most nutritious in the world, but I actually pick the flavors that are the uh, good tasting. Now, you can add a can of tuna to these and you can get a full meal. And you can ration out one can of tuna to four packs of this, and you can feed four people, give them a little bit of carbohydrates and a little bit of protein. So again, make sure that you, when you stack a pantry, you're mixing things up. You know, make sure you're, you're getting proteins, your vegetables. Um, these are all potatoes, if you're curious. It's all freeze, or dehydrated in this case. Augustine Farms potatoes, good for 25 years. So make sure as you're buying things little by little, you're stacking things that you will eat. Short video, but I hope you appreciate the effort I put into my pantry, and I hope you got one going too. Thank you.